Good morning, Hurricane, El Hurricane Elementary. Good morning, Hurricane Elementary School. This is Mr. Lowe. Good morning, Hurricane Elementary School. Well, good morning, Hurricane Elementary School. This is Mr. Lowe. And I've decided that I'm going to make a daily video to talk about some of the things that are happening around, the around this school while you are not here. For my first daily announcements video, I'm going to answer a question that I get all the time. Mr. Lowe, where do you get those tie clips that you wear? And uh, these are just Lego pieces, Lego minifigs that I glue onto a tie bar. And this one is a Lego Ninjago character. And uh, he's wearing a mask because he doesn't want to get COVID-19. I want to teach you how I make these tie clips. What you need, you need to pick a minifig and I'm gonna go with Emmett. Um, you also need a, uh, a Lego piece. These are the thinner pieces and it's a uh, one by six. The other thing that you need is a blank tie bar. And then the last thing that you need is some uh, epoxy. And this is a uh, Gorilla brand epoxy. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do this with one hand while my other hand is filming. But uh, basically, oh, I'm gonna get that out of there. Um, you squirt a teeny tiny amount of this epoxy into, uh, I put it on a plate, paper plate usually. Then I'm going to stir it all up. I wanna quickly break and explain what epoxy is. It's a type of glue and kids shouldn't use it. So if you're gonna use this, make sure you get a parent to help you with it. But epoxy has two different chemicals in two different tubes that are connected in one plastic container. So when you pull off the lid, they both squirt out and one squirts out each side and you get two different chemicals. And when they mix, it creates a chemical reaction that uh, um, makes them harden. Um, neither one would get hard on their own, but when you mix them together, they become hard like plastic and it's pretty cool. I applied epoxy all along the top of this tie clip or this tie bar. And then I um, glued on this one by six piece and I'm going to set it up overnight. I'm gonna put it in a clip to keep it off the ground and to keep it um, held together. Tomorrow, or, uh, because I'm trying to make this video for today and I wanna be able to show it, I'm going to um, use a little bit of movie magic. About a month ago, I made this piece and it is a tie bar attached to a one by four piece thin and this is already hard. It's settled on there and you can see there's some imperfections in it. Let me see if I can focus on that. Some imperfections on that, but nobody will ever notice that. This is the part that you'll see. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take my piece that I've chosen, my minifig, and I'm going to glue him together so that he doesn't fall off and I'm gonna glue him to the tie bar like this. So that's the next part that I'm gonna show you. Okay, so I need to figure out the orientation of this. It's gonna sit right there. So I'm gonna take Emmett and gonna glue the pants part right on there so that if I bump into something, that uh, that will be glued right on and uh, be ready to go. Okay, the next part, I'm gonna use a little more craggle. Stick it right in there. Glue that guy on. And then the last part I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a dab, a, a tiny bit, because I do not want this to mess up. I'm gonna put a dab of this epoxy onto his the top stud. And now his hair is on perfectly. That is done. So I'm gonna be working over here. Okay, so as you can see, this guy is glued together. His hair is glued onto his head, his body is glued onto his pants, and his pants are glued onto um, the Lego piece, the one by four piece that was attached to this tie bar earlier. 
All right, I have a brand new tie bar. I'm really excited about it. And I will be wearing this tie bar uh, next time that I see you in person when you're back in school, when school gets back to normal, uh, whenever that will be. We know that it's no sooner than May at this point. So I will see you in May. And until then, I need you to do three things. Number one, I need you to get a good night's rest. Go to bed on time, wake up, and be ready to learn. Number two, log in, and uh, when you get into Schoology, I want you to look for a couple things, your teacher's, teacher's video, and then the assignments that you're supposed to be doing. Watch the video that your teacher makes. They're going to put a lot of work into those. And then there's another thing that your teachers are going to be doing. Every day, they're going to have office hours. They will send you a code, and that will let you get into Google Meet. And on Google Meet, you can uh, log in and it's a live video where your teacher will be able to answer your questions live and in person. And that'll be the same time every single day. Your parents can also use that link and ask questions. Uh, there will be times where teachers may, uh, may do games or something like that, but it should be a lot of fun. All right, see you tomorrow.